Hey, stranger. Thought you'd be the Draymon. Oh, yeah, well, listen, I'm not stopping, but um, I've been meaning to call. I've just had so much on. How is she? Yeah, you know, most teenagers would love lazing about on the phone all day, but I think the weight's driving her a little bit mad. It's awful. Yeah. And the worst part is it's, you know, it's like we're almost waiting for someone else to die. Sorry. Sorry, Chaz, I was not... No, it's too. fine. This isn't fair on either of us. Anyway, I better go before she starts ringing me. Yeah, tell her I might pop and see her later. I'm at the hospital for an appointment anyway, and, well, half an hour with Paddy rabbiting on about gerbils. She'll be thankful of some solitude. <laughs> well, yeah, and, um, well, I, I hope the hospital goes, you know. I do. Tell her to keep giving them nurses some sass and all. They'll find a donor soon. Lydia, Lydia, stop, stop, stop. You've hoovered up my favourite sock. Oh, sorry. What else have you got in there? Well, I rescued this. I took the liberty of doing behind the cupboards. She's a little bruiser. <laughs> Isn't she just? Oh, it's Aaron. He hasn't changed a bit. Same taste in frocks. You can talk. Nobly knees. Anyway, get a wriggle. I've got CTG to go to. It's, um, heart monitoring thing. Oh, Mrs Briggs from Salsa class had one of them. She recorded the baby's heartbeat on her phone. Ba-bum, ba-bum, ba-bum. Magical. We'll be nicking that idea. Definitely. And Mr Treasure, eh? My old mate, Ginger Gillian, was his godmother. Honestly, she was that chuffed that I asked her that she got absolutely hammered and fell into the christening cake. <laughs> yes, my kind of girl. Mm. She thought the world of him, she did. But then she lost her boyfriend to the big sea and she moved abroad. Anyway, same time tomorrow. Hmm. Cheers, Lydia. Is it me or is she acting strange? Stranger than normal? <laughs> yeah. I think she's right about recording the baby's heartbeat, though. Well, ask today. It's a shame we can't do this, though. Why can't we? Not the same, exactly, but we can give her godparents, can't we? Everyone deserves a ginger Jillian. You're right, they absolutely do. It's not imperative that she's called Jillian either, is it? You got somebody else in mind? Do his first and he just took it. Yeah, but it doesn't matter who had it first, Arthur. Because he dropped it down the toilet. Yes. I never. Right, oi, 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 I'll settle this. Heath, go and wash the tube. Kathy, stop smirking. And Arthur, stop making so much fuss. And you haven't done your teeth yet, so go on upstairs. I'm going in the bathroom first. No, I can't. No, I said it first. No, I can't. I said hey, it. well handled. <laughs> I tell you what, I can't wait to go back to work. Oh, yeah. can I borrow a tenner? I've got to buy um, Angelica a birthday present. Yeah, of course, yeah. Hmm. Heaven knows when I'm going to buy it. I don't suppose you're going to the cash and carry before the cafe, are you? I uh, doubt it. Mm. He's stuck in work all day. Yeah. I suppose I could always buy a load of chocolate from Jay. <laughs> Imagine Nicola's face. You could always nick it. Give me back my tenner. <laughs> what, and then get sacked and become a lady of leisure? <laughs> don't tempt me. Right, I'll see you later, kids! Yeah, see you, darling. Yeah, don't work too hard. Voila! I didn't get a big sign saying I've been shifting dodgy motors, mate. Chill out. It went like clockwork, as if they never existed. So come on, crack a smile. Or don't. What happened to you anyway? You look like death. I don't quite recall. Sign of a good night. You should try it sometime. Cos if we're gonna keep doing this... We won't. And definitely not at the garage. You understand me? You're the one who said I never invest in the business. I'm just doing as I'm told. Imagine all those new shiny alloys that you can buy with that, eh? Is it a good idea to go winding him up? What is this? National Dullard Day. Here, I bet the missus has confiscated your pocket money, so go buy yourself something to cheer yourself up. <laughs> or just stick a coat hanger in your gob, whatever. I just went through the back of my bike. I'll shove your stuff in, wash it, and press a few buttons. I'm busy. Sorry. Ah, flaming thing! Lydia will do it for you when she comes back from work. She won't. She must have left dead early this morning. 
You two fall alone. Liddy didn't sleep here last night. She, she must have stayed at B&B. Why? She's gone. What? I didn't want her to. She had this mole. The doctor wants it testing for, you know, for cancer. After everything that happened with your mum and that. So you dumped her? No! Of course I didn't. She's dumped me. Said she didn't want us going through the same thing we went through before. So you're just gonna let her go like that? Do you love her? Yeah, of course I do. Then you need to go and tell her to come back now. She hasn't Paddy at the back. Have you been summoned too? Summoned? Yeah, that. That sounds like a Dalek. Well. Be here for eleven. <laughs> I'm gonna sound like a garlic Dalek if you read it like a, a, a Dalek. Sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> right, so what have you done? Yeah, there speaks a guilty conscience. Nothing, little Miss Paranoid. We'd like to ask you both a favour. Shall we sit? Shall I? Mm hmm Oh, wow. Right. Um, OK. If things were different and the future was easier, well, then one day, Margarita would have a massive, huge christening and we would want you to be godparents. Oh, what? Seriously? I mean, yeah, I'd love that. Good. That's really good. Because we still want you to be godparents. Starting now. Cool. Bit much, innit? It's not like they're gonna have to do out. Hey, maybe less of this, eh? Why me? You know, what about charity? Ooh. I can't help but think she might have enough on her plate, what with the kids that she's already got. Am I good enough? Are you kidding me? You have done more to turn your life around than people twice your age. I mean, why wouldn't I want you to show our little girl how it's done? I think you're amazing. Oh, well, you're not going to make me cry. <laughs> not me neither. <laughs> All right, please, love. Isn't that good news or bad? Good, for once. And I think between ourselves, we could make it even better. Sorry. It's okay, put his side up. Looks like your snoring's worse than you think. I, I can smell burning. Eric said you'd be here. And here I am. You can't leave us. I'm sorry. I didn't speak to you yesterday, before I left. But your dad understands. Are we calling it a day? I don't, actually. I, I don't understand that. And, and I don't want you to. Who cares if you're ill? Me, Sarah's ill, we ain't all dumped her, have you? Even with everything that happened with Alice, I, I won't change a single day. Because it, it meant I could be with it. Like I want to be with you. Stay, please. Leaving you two is the last thing I want. But I can't ever be a burden. Bike, he's not a burden leaving his stinky dead trout out on the kitchen table. <laughs> we'll be all right, us, whatever happens. Just, as, as long as we're together. Of course we will. Brenda, um, I just wanted to show Bob this. Uh, Priya sold it to me. It's Amber's. It hasn't been out of the box, but I wasn't sure if it was... Too girly for Angelica. Well, it depends if Nicola's one of those non-gender specific mothers. Well, if she is, she's hidden it well. Um, is Bob out the back? Be a bit odd if he was, cos he doesn't work here, does he? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, you knew that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah just ignore me. Old habits, you know. <laughs> it's... 
You see, I've got to go. I've got you a pint in. No need to thank me. I'm loaded. Yeah? I know you're still buzzing about yesterday, but... But what? What? Just don't go messing it all up. Oh, so you like me being happy, just not too happy? But I'm just looking out for you. I'm glad you stopped fretting over Rebecca. Hardly fretting. Yeah, and you finally got some money in your pocket. Look, you and Moses deserve a break. But if you start acting all cocky and start upsetting people, you're gonna blow it. Blinding myself and mm. press the wrong button again. One for the album, innit? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you all set to record? Yes. Don't trump. No pressure. The last midwife pressed Shh. it. It's very quiet. Should we be hearing something by now? I'll just try on this side. It never usually takes this long to find the heartbeat. like to keep you on your toes. What happened? Just sometimes if the baby's laid a certain way, it's harder to pick up the heartbeat. So she's OK? It's been a very challenging pregnancy. I can understand why you were worried. Does anybody else really need a, a, a cup of tea? That's a good look. I like to think so. How's Sarah doing? Pale, tired, still winding the doctors up, nicking biscuits off the tea trolley. She's got way too much of my mother in her, that kid. So come on, spill. Graham. Did that? How? You don't want to see Graham drunk. He's got issues, things that he's never quite sorted. Joe, he needs help which I was trying to offer him before he turned on me, so I say good riddance. Oh, not because he's just the hired help. Hmm? Replaceable. Well, I filled his position, so yeah. Priya is now the new Graham. Priya? Hmm. Right, well, that's good, because she's been trying to get her feet under your table for quite a while. Oh, Debbie Dingle. Do I see a show of claws? Hardly. Anyway, I'm sure she'll learn the filing system very soon. And just how shiny you love those shoes. <laughs> Can you believe she refused to put it in her very precise job description? What she did put in was good enough, though. Alan Sugar would be proud. Joe, we both know that you need Graham. Mm. Would Graham be able to steal me misshapen chocolates from the family firm? Mm. No. It's a new dawn, Debbie. Long overdue. Yeah. Yeah. So, have, uh, have you got any mustard? I don't know, do I? Uh, what? You're my waitress. Yes, and I'm not officially a barmaid, but you're under the feet, and Faith is bone blooming idle, so. Is he doing something very important, actually? Just think of it as your first official godparently duty, helping Chaz out. What for free? Yeah, is. <sighs> 50p. I'll be a star. Mm -hmm. Go and get some mustard, please. See? Tips. I imagine if you smiled. Try a little bit more. Beautiful. It's in the fridge. Oi. 
That Corsa still needs an oil change. Right. I'll see you later. Oh, come on then. Let's hear Margarita's debut recording, and as the world's greatest godfather, I get first dims, obviously. It's, um, Paddy, get your phone now. You all right? But yeah, kind of. We, we had a bit of a scare. Chaz? They couldn't find a heartbeat for ages. We waited and we waited. But she's all right? Yeah, for now. So... It was awful. It was really bad. I better yeah, go, 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 go. Fight on the polite, I passed by. So as everything went so well yesterday. Uh, let's not make a habit of it. Laughing Boy wasn't quite as enthusiastic as we were. I can't bet Sam Kane didn't have it enough. Uh, it's all the Ovaltine and early nights these days, isn't it? Well, just because he's in retirement, don't mean we are. Look for a rerun. Uh, I'll let you know, yeah? I'll make sure you do, yeah? Seriously, mate. We could clear up. I'll text you later, yeah, we'll go for a pint or uh, whatever you fancy. Yeah, in a bit. There's extra sugar in that one. Dad. Sorry, tell us to go away. We just wanted to check. No, stay. Please. We did get a recording. Good. You can have that forever now. Love, you don't need this. Why don't you go back in the bar? I'm fine, Chaz. I want to help, if I can. I thought we'd lost it today. I mean, it's silly, isn't it? Knowing that we soon will. But the thought of it happening before we're ready. Oh. I've got it all planned. They're saying goodbye, but I think about it all the time. Do you? Yeah. It's only natural to want to be prepared. All our plans mean nothing, Mum, because our little girl could give up at any time. Well, she hasn't. And that is all you need to think? It's not that simple, though, is it? She could get too tired, too poorly. Just... Not want to carry on? We've always known that. Have we really? Because I don't think I've ever let myself believe it. Otherwise, today, I'd have been more prepared to say goodbye. And I'm not. Hiya. Oh, great, you got something. Whew. But that was more than a tenner. <laughs> It was a fiver, actually, and here's your change. Oh, no, no, I wasn't saying that. Oh, well, there's a lot you're not saying at the moment, Bob. Don't follow. I called for you earlier at the cafe. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Why on earth wouldn't you tell me that you weren't working there anymore? Well, because I didn't want you being like this. What, worried? Yeah, worried, yeah, because it's all going to be fine. Look, Brenda's struggling a bit, and it didn't feel right me drawing a wage from the cafe. She's still got bills to pay. So have we! Not to mention all the kids we've got to clothe and feed, and she loved knowing that you hadn't told me. Give over. She's not like that. Well, anyway, I'm the one to blame, OK? So, I'm sorry. So when exactly were you planning on telling me? Tomorrow. After my interview. What for? Well, I do best. Naughty nylons. I'm going back to my roots, yeah. Selling tights? Yeah. Hey, I was company salesman of the year, you know. Once I get back on that road, it won't only be Barbie who's driving a Porsche. Well, I'll just, uh, be quite happy with food on the table. Trust me, darling, this is the best move I've made. Ba-doom, 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 Right, come on, all of you. Time's precious enough. We can't be spending it like this. What about having a get-together? You know, something to make both your roles more official. Like how? Well, a sort of naming christening thing. Just a happy day for us all to look back on and know that Margarita was an important part of our family. I'd go for that. Yeah, so would I. Well, it'd be nice to do something. When were you thinking? Tomorrow? Yeah, I know it's short notice, but you wouldn't need to lift a finger. I'll do it all. Oh, come on, then. We left Kane running the bar. I might be bare-knuckle fighting by now. <laughs>
Are you sure you're okay? We definitely chose the dream team. Wow. Who'd have thought my mum had a sensitive understanding side underneath all that? That terrifying, shrill exterior. Don't mince your words. <laughs> I think it'll be OK. It's a lovely idea, but it might be quite difficult. I know. But it's a chance to celebrate this little lady's life, isn't it? <sighs> Just a nice, quiet ceremony. Right, Zach's organising the party playlist and I've fired off a group text. Yeah, listen, why... why the big rush to have it tomorrow? Because after what happened to Chaz today, we can only hope time is on our side. Here, list for the buffet. How much? Marlon, this child deserves to be welcomed into the family like any other. And it's our job to make sure that everyone's there for a proper dingle's knees up. I can promise you it'll be a day Chaz and Paddy will never forget. If you've been affected by Chaz and Paddy's story, you can visit itv.com forward slash advice for support information. Next tonight, we're off to Coronation Street. Mm -hmm.